Hello and welcome to Summit Fit. Today we're going to go through a low impact exercise routine and I want you to remember a few things. First is work at your own pace. If I'm going too fast, go at your own pace. Slow it down. If something I'm doing looks a little bit too tricky or a little too much for you at the moment, modify it. As long as you keep moving, that's the most important part. This is to help you get going, get active, and start to feel good. So, um, as we go through things, I will show you variations. Just about everything we're going to do can be done seated as well as standing. And I'll show you variations as we go. So having said that, grab your water, get a chair. If you have some weights, pull them out. And let's get started. <clears throat> So we're going to start with a warm-up, and we're going to start just with our heads. So go up and down. Inhale as you bring your forehead back. Exhale as you bring your chin down. Keep going. Inhale up. Exhale down. Three more. We're going to do one more, and then we're going to transition taking your head side to side. So bring it back to neutral and slowly bring it side to side. Nice and slow and smooth. You're just warming up. You might notice that there's no music playing and there's several reasons, but the most important is so you can hear me. We're going to do two more. and then bring your head back to neutral. Here we go. And shrug, bring it up and down. Inhale as you bring it up, exhale as you bring it down. Keep going. So if you wanna put on your own music and rock out at home, I would highly recommend it. It would make this a little bit more enjoyable. Let's do one more. Here we go, inhale up. Exhale down. Kind of work your shoulders down for a moment. We're going to do shoulder circles. You're going to bring them up and forward. Inhale up, exhale forward. Keep going. Two more. Nice. Let's reverse it. Bring it up and back. Inhale up, exhale back. Four more. Okay, we got one more. And pause. Nice. Bring our arms up. Little flex at the wrist. And we're going to do circles. Go forward, make them small. Couple more. Make them a little bigger. Good. And pause it. Reverse it. Same size, a little bigger. Good. We're going to work the muscles in all their directions and we want to keep our right and left sides as equal as possible. Make it smaller. So everything we do, we will do on the right and the left. Again, if you need to modify, modify. And pause. Palms face you, or excuse me, face forward, bring it together, and all the way back, stretch it out, inhale as you bring it forward, exhale as you bring it out, couple more, good, and stop here, now I'm going to adjust my feet a little bit, if you're sitting, just remember to sit up nice and tall, you don't want to be against the back of the chair. You want to be sitting on the forward 
portion, and I'll show you that in a moment. What we're going to do is we're going to reach so my feet stay solid, then come back and reach the other way. I'm feeling it through my back and my side to my arm and back. So if I'm seated, and I'm going to turn the chair so you can see this, I'm sitting up nice and tall. My arms are out and I'm shifting in my seat. So join me and let's do three on each side. Stretch it over and back. Keep going. I'm not going to catch up. You're probably ahead of me. So I'm just going to finish out with this one. And pause. Bring your arms down. Your arms might be getting a little tired. So a couple shrugs. Kind of relax your shoulders. And pause. Nice. We need to start to stretch out our lower back as well as our shoulders and um, our legs. So we're going to start with something called good mornings. Again, this is something you can do standing or seated. So I'll show you standing first, and I'll come to the side. You're going to bend at the waist. Your arms are down, forehead down. You're just going to come down as far as you can, and you're going to hang. So my knees are straight. When I want to come up, I bend my knees, and I roll up. It protects your lower back. If that makes you uncomfortable, get a little dizzy or unsteady, if you're dizzy, please don't do this all the way down, but a little unsteady. Hold on to a chair, and you're going to be in front of it. Put your arms out, and right now I feel the stretch from here through my lower back, and with my arms outstretched, I feel it across my shoulders. Again, when I want to come up, I bend my knees and I roll up. If you're seated, I'll show you this variation and then we'll all go ahead and do it. You're going to sit with your legs open and come over here. Remember, I'm on the edge of the chair. So I'll just change my angle so you're better able to see it. And now you're going Again, your legs are open. You're just going to bend at the waist and hang wherever you feel comfortable until you get that stretch. If you can touch the floor, that's awesome. And then when you want to come up, use the muscles right here, your quads and in your lower leg, and you're going to push yourself up. So again, you're going to hang down, and then when you want to come up, come up. So everybody's going to do three of them in whatever variation is best for you. So here we go. Come on down and hang. Breathe. When you're ready to come up, bend your knees and roll up. Two more. Each time you go down, try and go down a little further. When you want to come up, bend your knees and roll. One more. So I've worked with a lot of our community elders over the past year and a half, and there are some people who can put their hands on the floor and just hang there for a really long time. It's very impressive. So don't think because you're whatever age you are, you can't do it. The person I'm thinking about several decades above us. So um, everybody just works at their own rate and it's all good. So let's go ahead and change out a little bit. We're going to start to move our legs a little bit now that we've got our back stretched. So I'm going to show you doing it seated first. So again, you're sitting on the edge of your chair. And you're sitting up nice and tall. I got a little bit of tension in my belly. And your feet are in line with your knees. And they're 11s if you can. You're just going to lift your heel, lift your heel. Alternate, alternate. As we start, what we're going to, we're going to, we're going to extend that past just lifting our heels. 
At some point, we're going to pivot, and you can just turn and turn. Okay, so you'll pivot from up here, seated as well as standing. So if you're standing, and again, if you need to hold on, please hold on. We're going to start with just lifting our heel. And if you're standing, you're going to rock side to side. So join me. Heel, heel. Good. Keep going. If you put your arms out, you can go back and forth. Here we go. And then reach with your arms. Good. So we're going to change this up just a little bit. So now we're going to reach across. So this next time I'm going to bring my right arm and I'm going to reach. Now my left. Reach. See how I'm pivoting. Reach. Keep going. I'm going to do two more on each side. Reach. One more. Straight out in front. Reach. Coming back to just lifting my heel. Two more. Okay, so after this one, we're going to reach straight up. Here we go. Straight up. My other hand pushes down towards the floor. Up. Up. Awesome. Two more. And now we're going to stretch it across. So again, I'm going to put a pivot back. Cross. Cross. Keep going. Two more. Good. Last one. And bring your arms down. Keep your legs going. Couple more. Okay, one more. Nice. So now we're going to do circles. We're going to do ankle circles. Five each direction, each ankle. If at any point you need to get a drink of water, please do so. And hands on your knees. Let's do knee circles. Five in one direction. And yes, you can do this seated. Reverse it. Seated. You're just up on your toes. Two, three, four, five. And the last one is hip circles. Again, sit up and do the hula. Here we go for five. Ah, uh, get those legs nice and warm. Get your hips, your back, your shoulders. We should be good to go. So let's start marching. Good, so we're starting to get our heart rate up. And if you're seated, just keep your legs going. We're going to take this from a nice march to high knees. And high knees, you can put your hands up if you want. Go up, up. If that's a bit much for you, just bring your legs up as high as you can. Let's go a little faster. Bring them down. Stay a little quicker than you were. Almost there, take it down. Good. We're going to mess around with that a little bit more. So, just a minute. We're going to make this a little faster. Everybody ready? Here we go. Speed it up. Very nice. High knees. Boom. Fast if you can. Slow it down. Keep it high. And slow it down, bring it down. 
Very nice. You should start to feel a little warmer. You might be a little out of breath. That's great. We got to get that heart rate up. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to review punching or jabs. Because we're working our lower body all the time. We don't work our upper body quite as much. So a jab, I think of it as a push pull. You're pushing someone away and then you're pulling your arm back so that you can either run or counter punch. So the stance is important. Again, you can do it seated, but if you're standing, your front foot is forward. Your back foot has a little bit of an angle to it. If you're seated, you will bring a foot forward, but your back foot doesn't need to angle. Okay, so you've got your other hand up to protect your face, and it's just push and pull. Push and pull, one more. Push and pull. Good, let's do it on the other side. Again, your front foot is forward, your back foot has an angle to it, and you push and pull. Push and pull one more. Good. So we did it kind of as a stretch and very slow. We're going to put a little bit of speed and a little bit of power behind it. We're going to do five on one side and then we'll switch our feet. We'll do five on the other side. Doesn't matter which side. Here we go. Push. Two, three, four, five, and pause. Nice. Switch it around. And let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, and pause. Really nice. Good. So we got our jab. Let's add one more punch to that. From your back leg, your back arm, you're going to get a lot more power. So if I'm pushing them away, I want to bring another punch to really finish them off. It's going to hit the exact same spot. It's going to come right there. So it's called a cross. So you're going to jab, bring it back, cross, bring it back. Look at my foot. I'm crossing, coming up. So the punch comes from my toe all the way up through my hand. Switch it around. And you can start with a jab and cross, cross, cross. Good, so what we're going to do is you're going to start with a jab, we're going to do a cross, two jabs, two crosses, three jabs, three crosses, back down to one, all on the same side. Doesn't matter which side, remember we're going to start with three. Here we go. Oh, we're starting with one. Got myself confused. Here we go. One, one. Do it again with two. One, two, one, two. Here we go, three. Back to two. One. Yes, switch your feet. Okay, here we go. Start with one, two, three. Back to two, one, nice, good. So a little bit of workout, you're gonna feel it not only across here tomorrow, you might feel a little bit in your shoulders, but you're gonna feel it in your abs. That's what boxing is really good for, it's total core. So let's go ahead and do one more set of some boxing, but we're gonna start with fives Follow me, we're gonna start with some jabs, follow them across for five. Cross it, five. Jab it for three. Cross for three. Ones, threes. Fives.
and pause. Good. Switch it around. Let's start it again with fives and jab. Cross it. Three. Cross. Ones. Threes. Fives. Last one. And pause, shake them out. Nice, let's do a couple shoulder rolls. And lastly, let's go ahead and crisscross. Good, we're gonna get some water and we're gonna grab our weights and we're gonna transition and do some strength training. So I have some dumbbells, but I also have some ankle weights. And I'm going to show you the ankle weights first. So it's really nice about ankle weights, besides you've got a weight on your foot, which you don't really have at home, is if you get these, if you have these, you can use them on your hand. And so you can use them on your arms as well as your legs. The other nice part, they're versatile. Each one has pockets, and the pockets actually have one pound weights in them. Actually, I'm wrong. These are a half of a pound weight. One, two, three, four, five. No, I was right the first time. They're one pound weights. And the one pound weights, I can put as many as I want up to five, so that would be two and a half and two and a half, so this could be a five pound ankle weight, or it could be five pound hand weight, and then you're all set. So, let's go ahead, get our weights together, get a sip of water if you're waiting for me, I apologize. And our first weights that we're going to do, we're actually going to stay seated. So if you're not sitting already, please do that. And if you have dumbbells, you might want to get them. Um, please use a weight that's a little lower or lighter than you think you're going to need today for your first time. And then you can always work up rather have you think it's too easy than too hard at least your first time so i got my weights if you don't have weights look around your house i'm sure you have something cans of campbell's soup nice and small so it can fit in your hand maybe um, some other kinds of small easily to handle things in your house I'm thinking of, I don't know, there's so many different variations in everybody's house. You'll, you'll figure it out, but if you really need more weight, you can get those plastic jugs, put them full of water, put them on the scale, figure out how much they weigh. You can get them to weigh a couple pounds easy. Okay, so we're going to start with what's called an upright row. Okay, so seated, you're going to have your legs open and your hands are in the center and you're going to stay sitting nice and tall. You're going to take a nice inhale and bring everything up into one straight line as best you can and then lower it slowly. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, bring it down. Three more. And up and down. Good. Last one. Good. So we're going to do a shoulder press next. I'm going to bring your weights up. Your palms are facing in. And all you're going to do is extend it up and bring it down. Inhale as you come up. Exhale as you come down. And up and down. Two more. Nice. 
put the weights where they won't be in your way. You're going to put one leg out, your heel is down, your toe is up, you're sitting as tall as you can. You can hold on if you need, try not to. We're going to just bring our toe up, and it's an inhale up, and an exhale down. Bring it right back up, and down. You'll notice my upper body is counterbalancing my lower body, that's okay. I still am sitting as upright as possible. And bring it back. Other side, here we go, inhale up, exhale down. Two, we're going for five. One more. Nice. Okay, so grab one of your weights, and the next one we're going to do is I call the lawnmower. This one is for your abs, and what you're going to do is you're going to take one weight, you're going to bring your arm across to the other side, I'm bracing myself. I'm right in the center between my knee and my ankle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend I'm starting one of those old lawnmowers that have the toggles. And I'm going to watch my elbow as I pull up and away. Up and down. Inhale as you go up. Exhale down. Three more. Up and down. Last one. So the beauty of these exercises is even if you don't have weights, if you do them slow and controlled, you will get a workout. You will feel this. So again, switch. Ready? And inhale up. Exhale down. Two. Go for five. And pause. Nice. Okay, so let's get our other weight and we're going to bring our arms to our sides. My palms are facing the chair. I'm still seated at the edge and sitting up as tall as I can. And we're going to alternate and we're going to raise one arm laterally and then bring it down slowly. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, bring it down. You want one long straight line from your shoulder out to your weight. You don't want it above or too far below if you can help it. This is three on each side. So far, we're going for five on each side. So that means we need two more. Oh, you bring them up a little faster and you really fight it coming down. Last one on each side. Very nice. Okay, so now let's go ahead and put the weights where they won't be in our way. We will do the other side of that. If we come up, we have to be able to sweep them down. And we will do that, but we're going to do that in a little bit. Let's go back to our feet, or I should say our legs. Go ahead and put one toe up, and all I'm going to do is extend, and then bring it back down. Inhale, extend, exhale, bend it back. Three more. Last one. Other side for five. So don't be worried if you don't have weights. Something that most people aren't aware of is our arms weigh about 9% of our body weight. One more. And our legs are approximately 18% of our body weight. That's a lot of weight to lift, slow and controlled. So as long as you do everything slow and controlled, you're golden. Okay, we're gonna do two more exercises. We need one weight again. I want you all to turn in your chair or on your chair. If you notice what I've done with my legs, my back leg it has dropped down and my front is for stability. 
I'm on my toe. You can relax your foot if you prefer. And I'm going to do a combination. So this combination is called a row to a tricep. It's all one movement, and it makes sense to do them as a combo. So you're going to bring your arm up, and then extend your elbow, re-bend your elbow, and lower it. We're going to do that five times. Here we go. Bring it up extend, bring it down, all the way. Okay, we've got four more. Last one. Good. We're going to go ahead and turn it around, do our other side. So again, this leg on the inside is for stability. This one's just kind of out of my way at the moment. I'm braced down. Here we go for five. Bring it up, extend, bring it down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more. Very nice. So before we stand up, we're going to go ahead and do one more exercise. So you're probably wondering how we're really going to do the abs. So I've shown you one already, the lawnmower, because you're working your diagonal muscles. And then when we do high knees seated, you're actually working your lower abs. So you do note two, and doing high knees standing gets the same muscles. But the last one that we all think about is a sit up. And it's really hard to do a sit up unless you're on the floor. And a lot of us can't get up and down very easily. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a modified sit up on the chair. So I'm just gonna angle this so you can see it. Again, I'm seated at the front. I've got my feet steady on the ground. I'm gonna cross my arms across my chest so it looks like that. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back until I feel these muscles start to tremble. And then, without touching, I'm gonna come right back up. Where you start is where you stop. So you're going to inhale, bring it back as far as you can, and exhale, bring it up. Some people want to come all the way forward. It's not how it's done. You start and stop seated tall, bring it back, and then right back up. Let's do five more. Inhale back, exhale up. The beauty of strengthening your core is it's really good for your posture. It helps alleviate a lot of back pain. And when your back feels good, the rest of you feels good. Very nice. Good. So we're going to go ahead and stand up if you can. If you can't do the best you can, seated. And we're going to start with another leg exercise. So I'm just going to turn this this way. So we're going to start with kicking back. It's a very small movement, and it's really all in your glutes. So your abs are tight. Hold on. And all you're going to do is kick back and then down. Inhale back. Exhale down. We're going for five. Last one. Good, other side, same thing. Inhale up, exhale down. So very small movement. My upper body is as upright as possible. Four, one more. Good, the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our leg out to the side. Again, I'm holding on. And I'm going to inhale, bring it out, and then exhale, lower it down. 
and out and down. Good. Three more. Nice. Now I can't do this side right here. I'm going to have to move my body. So I'm just going to move it this way. And again, I'm going to do five. Here we go. Inhale up, exhale down. Now you might have different range of motions and that all just has to do with our history. What we've done through our life and all those little injuries that we've incurred. One more. Good. So don't be upset. The more you do it, the more you're able to do. So the last one that we're going to do for a moment is we've just taken our legs away. We want to take our legs across. So I've stepped forward and by stepping forward I'm going to come up and down. Inhale up, exhale down. A couple more. Four. One more. Good. Go ahead and switch your legs. Same thing. Inhale up, exhale down for five. And pause. Nice. Come up on your toes, back on your heels. Five times. Kind of relax those legs. So go ahead and pick up your hand weights. We're going to finish out our arms just the way we just finished out our legs. So again, we've done this one because we were seated, so now we want to sweep it across. So bring your weight in front, and if you're seated, just move your legs so you'll have some room. You want to stay forward, okay? You're not going to turn your upper body. And where you start is where you stop. So go ahead and bring it across and down. Inhale as you lift it. Exhale down. Three. Four. One more. Nice. Other side, same thing. Here we go. Inhale up. Exhale down. Two. Three, four, last one. Nice. Couple shrugs, loosen up those shoulders. We're going to transition into another upper body exercise. We're going to do the bicep. This is one that I think almost everyone's familiar with. So go ahead and turn your palms out, your elbows are tucked in. We're going to bring it up, squeeze it, and bring it down slowly. Inhale, bring it up and squeeze. Exhale and down. Three more. Last one. Nice. Okay, while we're standing, and of course you can do this seated, put your weights along each of your legs and slowly come down to the side, my ears over my shoulder, stretching it out, and come on up. One more. And up. Good. So that's our side stretch. Let's go ahead and do two more on each side. Bring it all the way over, hold it, really feel that stretch, and bring it up. The other way. And up, one more on each. Good. You want to put your weights away for a moment. We have, we have another exercise to do with our legs to finish up. So you're going to hold on 
And so this is almost the exact same exercise we did. Instead of our elbows flexing, now our knees are going to flex. So your heel's going to come up to your bottom, squeeze at the top, lower it slowly. Inhale up, exhale down. We're doing five, two, three, four, last one. Nice. Other side. Two, three, last one. And down. Very nice. So we got one more full body exercise to do. So move your weight out of your way. So we have a squat to do, and there are several different ways to do squats. But what's important is knowing that you have to have your feet shoulder width apart or wider. Your toes are forward, can be out just a tiny bit, but pretty much 11s. And what you want to do is you want to use these muscles in front, your quadriceps, you're just going to sit into the motion and then come straight up. Chest high. I always think about holding a tray of cookies and I have some big dog, so I'm holding it and I'm going to sit down with it and I don't want my dogs to get those cookies. So I'm going to hold it out and then I'm going to push straight up. Let's do five more. Sit it down, push it up. Good, while you're working on that, people who are seated, you're probably thinking, I can't do that. But you can, you can do some variation. Think of getting on and off of the commode. Very important, and you use the same muscles. So if you're seated here, and if you have to guide yourself or push, you're just gonna push up straight through your heels, and then come right back down to sitting. Guide yourself if you feel you need it. Bring it up and then right back down. If you need your walker in front, put it in front, hold it, come up, and then gently lower yourself down. When you've done five of those, go ahead and stop. So everybody who was standing, you've done five squats. Everybody who's sitting, you've done five squats. That's great. We're going to do one more session with our jabs and our crosses and our squats, but if you have weights on, take them off. Okay, so again, remember you can do all of this seated. So we're going to start where you're going to do two squats, then we're going to step it back. We're going to step it back. You're going to do two jabs, one cross, and then two squats, step the other side, two jabs, one cross. We're going to do it three times through. Okay, so you're going to start with two squats. Here we go. Squat, two, step it back, jab, jab, cross. Jab, jab, cross, one more. Nice, step it out, two squats. Good, step it back, jab, jab, cross, jab, jab, cross, one more. Good, two squats. Keep it going, jab, jab, cross, jab, jab, cross, one more. Two squats. One more. Jab, jab, cross. Jab, jab, cross. Here we go. Last two squats. And pause. Nice. Very nice. Let's go ahead and stretch this out. So we're going to start by stretching out our legs. So go ahead and have a seat. You're going to put your toe high, leg straight out. 
This time you're going to bend forward. And when you bend forward, you're going to feel that stretch. Breathe into it. We're going to hold it for about 15 seconds. Stretches really should be held a little longer, 20 to 30 seconds. But after 15 seconds, most people get a little antsy. So we'll work up to that. Got a couple more seconds. You're going to slowly come up to sitting up tall. Point and flex five times. And then in and out five times. Wonderful. Go ahead and cross. If crossing is something that's difficult for you because your hip isn't that flexible or you have other problems, your knee, etc., don't worry. You can put this anywhere that works. Say that's all you can do, then slide that other one in until you feel the stretch. And the stretch should be from your glutes over to the side, all the way down to your knee. You should be able to feel it anywhere there. If you're up right like this and you feel stretch here, you might feel it on top. You can put a little bit of tension, more pressure just below your knee with your arm and bend forward if you need and breathe into your stretch. and slowly come up. Good, let's do the other leg. Bring it all the way out and breathe into your stretch. Come up slowly, point and flex five times. And side to side. Nice, cross your leg wherever it's good for you and breathe into the stretch. Now stretching is something you can do on a daily basis. It's really good for you to stretch and when you're warm, whether it's right after a shower or you're still on the blankets, it's a really good time to stretch. Come on up. Okay, while we're seated here, I want you to sit up nice and tall Put your right hand on your left knee and allow yourself to be pulled to look all the way over towards the left. Sit up nice and tall, hold it and breathe. And release it slowly. Put your right hand on your left, excuse me, your left hand on your right knee. Pull yourself around all the way to the right. And breathe into the stretch. And slowly come out of it. And let's go ahead and stand up. And crisscross your arms. Oh, we did a lot of work today. We worked a lot of muscle groups. So you might be a little sore tomorrow and that's okay. Let's take this into what's called a scissors. So come up and down. Good. And then bring one arm across. Straight elbows you can. I'm going to put the other arm around it and I'm feeling the pull through my shoulder and back, and you're breathing and just relaxing. And then slowly let that down. Other side, bring it across, hold it nice and tight. And slowly release it. Good, let's go ahead and shrug a few times. So bring your hands together and push. 
and intertwine your fingers and push it down. Okay, make sure your shoulders are nice and low. Take a nice inhale and bring it straight up. Flip it over and bring it all the way down. Do it again. Flip it, inhale, bring it up. Exhale and bring it down. One more. Nice, remember our shoulder circles, let's take it backwards. Inhale up, exhale back for five. And pause, one arm up, other arm slides, bring it over, you're gonna feel the stretch all the way down, breathe into it, and slowly come up, other way. And bring it down, head side to side. One more, then take it up and down. Two more. Bring your head to neutral. Nice inhale, arms up. Exhale and bring it down. Let's do it again. Nice inhale, arms up. Exhale and bring it down. One last time. And bring it straight down. Thank you very much for joining me. Remember to drink plenty of water, get plenty of sleep, and I hope to join, hope to have you join me again another time soon. Thank you.